So the third theme is um, this idea that there's bi-directional communication between the mind and the brain and the body. Uh, we are beginning to learn about the pathways through which uh, the mind and the body actually interact. Uh, and in Rinpoche's tradition, they have um, very sophisticated ideas about uh, the subtle body, which uh, we really don't know very much about from a Western scientific perspective, but the idea that the mind and the body are importantly connected is something that I think is central to both traditions. And um, what we're learning is that meditation strategies that influence, directly influence the brain also seem to produce changes in the body that may be um, potentially helpful, and also things that in, more directly influence the body can modulate functioning in the brain, which can, can contribute to our well-being as well. And so being attentive to these bi-directional influences opens up a whole new arena for us in thinking about the influence of these kinds of contemplative practices uh, on um, uh, on the body, and also some of the practices that Rinpoche taught us just this morning, the breathing practices, they are practices which, if you will, directly influence the body, and through that may potentially have effects on the brain. Uh, and um, in fact, we have a very recent scientific paper, just came out in the last week, um, uh, and uh, it's on uh, changes in breathing uh, processes that occur with long-term meditation practice. Uh, and um, uh, again, it's, th this was actually a set of unexpected observations, uh, but ones that uh, call attention to the importance of changes in the body that may accompany changes that are produced in the mind and the brain.